Hungarian Stitches. It's Saturday the 15th of February and this is Floss Tube 63 I think. Um, I hope you're all well and have had a great stitchy fortnight. Welcome if you're a new uh, viewer or subscriber, it's great to have you here with me and welcome back if you've been before. It's nice to feel I'm amongst friends. So, well, um, it's been a fairly normal week. Nothing major, kids have broken up for their half term holiday so we've got a week off. Um, I'm only working half a day that week as well so it's going to be lovely, I'm very much looking forward to it. We caught up with friends yesterday, uh, so it's look, we can, uh, so that was really nice. We talked about craft and school and all the usual kind of things that we talk about, and it was lovely. And um, she's a great cook, so we all have a really nice lunch. Uh, what else? That's pretty much it. Uh, yeah. So let's just crack on with the FFOs. I've got FFOs. I did have my finishing. I didn't get as much done as I planned, but. Hey, a few more spent than nothing, eh? So, needle starts. Uh, thrifted frame, 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 cost me a pound. Uh, really pleased with it. It's it. Yeah, it's a fairly true. It's it's kind of one of those brushed silvery gold looking frames. I think it works perfectly because it picks up the colour in the rabbits and the birds really really nicely. Um, it's a bit baggy here, so my intent. I'm actually going to take it apart and just put some batting behind it just to push it out a bit because I framed it without the glass. So super pleased with that, and I couldn't believe that frame was just absolutely perfect for it. Um, it was one of those that oh, didn't have any measurements with me, and I was um, mum and I had a were having a wander around town. Did they show it? Yeah. Um, no, I'd filmed a floss tube before, and then literally went into town and bought that, bought that frame. So um, I was having a wander, mum and I having a look through our charity shops, and saw that one, liked it, and just thought, yeah, it's a pound. I'm going to take a punt on it. Bought it. Result. Uh, in, not in a thrifted frame but still in a frame that I think works really really nicely I hadn't intended to go black with um, this one but yeah it's just a, a supermarket frame um, with the mount that came with it for needles I knew that uh, Weather of Bees was a standard frame size so I was really pleased with that so really like how this has turned out again I'm going to just take this apart again and pop some batting underneath it which I have bought um, so hopefully I can just get those redone I thought I had some here but just couldn't didn't, couldn't find any white and I knew I needed white behind whether it be the one that took the most time was stitching time so it's turned up pretty much how I planned, except for I need to obviously glue that bit back down. Uh, it's come up, but so there we go. Just it's one of these uh, white fabrics with a kind of white print overlay, uh, some green rip rack, and then the lots of stringy bits from the glue gun, and then uh, the same uh, the reverse for this using some of the backing fabric from that. So, pretty pleased with that. The sign was one I'd had for a long time and was gifted to me by my friend Sarah. I may add buttons to the corners. That's literally a thought that came to me in the last 10 minutes. So that's the potential for that. Let's pop that there for a minute. Uh, this was already fin FFO'd to this level and on a, f in a frame, kind of just a clip frame. But when I finished that one like that, I kind of thought and realised that that would fit as well. Lizzie Kate's coffee time is now all together, so I'm really pleased. And they hang either side of my window, pretty much like that. So in my kitchen, I like the boards are just a bit different. I just I literally grabbed the first two boards. I didn't worry about the colours or anything on it. I've just knocked a pom pom out of place. So I have different pom poms, but it it's the same kind of idea. So I pop those up there. Let's just move that to there too, and then the little frame that I showed you. Last time from Hobbycraft, uh, I did put the magnets on it. I bought really small magnets, so I thought four might be better than two. No, it won't help with two, but there you go. So I can swap those out each month. And I, I'm thinking, it hang, it, I don't know the place where, where it's in the living room at the moment is its final resting place, but I kind of feel I might want to put something up here. So I'm wondering whether to attach a jute bow to the top and then swap it out. Uh, well, I can 
neutral bow and then just had a little accent and I've got ideas it may come to them I think I don't know we'll give it a go uh, also kind of an FFO um, the scissor fobs that I made before for various reasons um, I did myself some little cards to put them on because I think they just look a bit better when I'm sending them to places and they've, they've got a card like that so I'm hoping to try and make some counting pins as well needle line stuff or anything I'm kind of making them give out at least I've got some cards to go with it now so FOs we have April by Lizzie Kate this is uh, one of the flip it stamps series um, I was gifted the charts and I've do I'm doing them completely from stash so oh, let's bring that a little bit closer for you I'm gonna rest my arm on the table to hold it a bit stiller a bit more still yeah uh, so I know the border is done in Poison Apple by uh, Joda Ridge Designs. The yellow is a DMC, the dark purple is a DMC, the others are Jodrin, I can't remember what. I just fussy cut them to suit. And they're very similar to the colours on, I don't have the chart in here, I don't have the threads in here, so I can't tell you what they are. Very similar to what's charted, but yeah, this kind of went with my, went with what I could as such. And then another finish, Jack Frost's Tree Farm. This is part one. I'm hoping that's in the frame. Yeah, it is. There we go. Can you see all of it? I don't know why I'm asking because you can't tell me at the moment. There we go. Leave it there. Love this. It's stitched on the Call for Linings, which is Access Commodities Portobello, I think, in uh, 30 count linen, uh, with the Call for thread threads, which are all classic colour works except for one DMC, which is the skin tones. Love this. It was so much fun to stitch um, and it's, it was interesting because looking at the skeins of threads I wasn't convinced there was a lot of variegation in some of the colours but I think the trees have come out really nicely so kudos to, um, oh is it, is it Nikki? The, no, Di Diane's the mum isn't she? So yeah for Diane from Little House Needleworks for her colour choices for the trees because they work it works really it's just that lovely barrel. I don't even see it really well. Oh yeah, but one that's picking up. So each of the trees is just one colour, well apart from where well, you can see the much lighter bit there, but they just it just work so well. Love this. Can't wait to start the rest of them. Now I'm I was struggling with this to start with and kind of felt a bit like it just wasn't coming together. So but kind of found a rhythm, got it done. The banner was tedious, but made for great challenge stitching. Let's do the house, so. Oh, I still have to do French knots on Jack's face, but I may use petite beads because I'm lazy. And to be honest, at least they'll be uniform. If I try and French knot in, you'll look a little bit cross-eyed. So pleased with that, really do love that. Um, I'm not going to start the others just yet. I'm thinking trying to do one a month. So I may start. I did, and I haven't brought it in. I was sat was I on the waiting for the bus or at work waiting for the bus, something like that. And decide, yeah, must have been at work. I was um, waiting, doing something, thinking. I often do my stitching plans at work just because sometimes I find if I get it out of my head, I can on a, on a piece of paper I can um, concentrate better at work. So was kind of thought, I'm going to do a year's plan, stitching plan, and do plans. So you know, each month I want to do one of the. Uh, so in February I wanted to finish April's. Sorry, it April's flip it, and I want to finish Jack Frost, and I want to do this, and I want to do that, and yeah, no. So um, did a massive list of other things and. So kind of thought one a month on these try and get them done for September October there's six smaller ones left to do so we'll give it a go we'll see how it goes it'll happen when it happens so oh, I'm gonna put that up there and I'm gonna put that up there too so I can get to the rest of my things well, I could have just put them back in the bag so this has been stored in my lovely shell bag um, so what's up next Not full. they're all out of order So the, the, that one's the next one. And then they go, I forget what the size is now. No, not even that. 49 by 49. Yeah. 
just whatever the depth of. Fifty nine by fifty nine. I knew there's a nine in it, so yeah, so much smaller. Um, and I do love the colour palette. I looked at saw it and thought, mm, that's not particularly interesting, but you know, actually together it's really it works so well. And how perfect is this bag for it? Show you're a bag making genius. Yes, you are. Right, and again, I've, kept, I've got nowhere to put anything. I'm terribly disorganised today. So, on to whips. Uh, so, completely ignoring my plan for one a month, started on May. This is one I've declared for the scavenger hunt. So, Lizzie Kate may flip it. that up there again totally doing my own colours as you can tell I was going to just do the purple in the thing but I was getting lazy so there we go it's all weird I was going to fussy cut better and then I realised that the way that Jodri does her thread I meant I was having like little and I thought no let's just go let's just fussy cut a little bit better so I am using I do have the threads for this one. Okay, we've got border is Tropical Bay. Which is that? Tropical Bay. Um, and the blue, well, I've cut the purple out, as you can see, which I'm going to use for the roof, is Purple Rain. Which is that one. Oh, I can tell you now. Uh, and one of the other threads I used for April, the basket and the carrot, were Ginger Tom. Which is that. And then I'm just going to use some, and I'm going to use a bit of the poison apple. I think it's poison apple. Yeah, poisoned apple for the birds and the branch. And they were basically in my stash already, so I was just like, I'm using those. No, I can't get the, the tag back in. There we go. No, it's still not happening. Oh, well, it'll do for now. Sort it out later. So, yep. Yeah. So, that's where I'm at with that. And I, this, I have declared this for one of my scavenger hunt pieces. And I'm also using it for the Daily 30 pop up event, the Valentine's event this weekend. So, that'll be a bit of fun. Because we can double do it. Yay! When I've shown you it with my others, I will tell you about my plans when I finish that because I just I suspect I shall finish that this afternoon. I have about 700 stitches left on it. Well, this evening anyway, right on the floor. I did a tiny bit of work on uh, Peace on Earth by Cottage Garden Samplings. This was a stitch along organized by. Well, Stitch Along, hosted by Christine Stitch All Things and Sarah Stitchology. I can't get the chart back, the, the cover stitch back in the bag now. Um, I, I'd say I'm stitching it in 80% cord for. So, oh. Actually, I have no idea whether these are called for. Because I haven't got the chart in here. So I'm not done with the chart. Printed another copy of the chart because I was needed to highlight and like to have an original. It's not an original because it's PDF, but it's an original. But I like to have two copies, so I've got one unmarked and one marked. Anyway, those are the colours. I have a feeling that most of them. Okay. Sub DMCs. Oh yeah, chalk, onyx, and wood smoke. Sub pecan for cinnamon. Yeah, so I don't think they're far off. That's probably what I'm trying to say. There we go. I'm gonna get mostly mostly gassed threads. 
and it's stitched on a Jodry Designs fabric in blue green guppy at 28 pound Brittany. Oh, do you want to see the stitching? That probably would be useful. And the needle minders are all stuck to everything. Told you everything about it except actually showing you the stitching. Right. Let's just be lazy and do that. So I'm working on the snowbank, and this is probably why I'm avoiding it because it's the snowbank and. Um, yeah, so I've done a bit more on the snowbank, and hence I got to the point where I was like, I can't work out where I keep losing my place on the chart because it is it's like stitch doing this one, stitch doing this one to create this kind of cut out snowflakes. Um, so I plan to, I just realised that is the chart for it. Yeah. I don't think I've subbed that much by the looks of it. A couple of the browns, maybe. That's about it. Uh, yeah, so I'm doing... So this is my scavenger hunt list, and I'm, I'm covering up most of the things because I know that Shuttle wants to kind of keep it a little bit secret within the group. So, uh, yeah. So I keep it... Um, so I've got the item, the stitch count, the project I chose to write in any notes. So I like putting things like, oh, where I stitched, where I which set of traffic lights I chose, and the silly things like that. And then, moving across, I've got the number for my entry, just so I know where I'm at. So I'm at number 23 or 4, I forget. 23 or 24. So a lot of tipex on it now, because I forget which where I'm at. Oh, okie dokie. Oh, and we're still going with the whips. Mandala. Um, tangled up. There we go. Tray's up. That way's up. It's coming along. So all of the Jodry Galaxy is done. I just have the ribbons to stitch now and fudge where I need to to get it to sit properly. I'm really, really pleased with how it looks turning out. And it's quite nice because the ribbons each are just over 200 stitches. So 208 for one of them and 215 for the other. So they make fantastic pump things if, I, if I'm just doing a colour or a citrus choice. Right. Plans. Plans, plans, plans. The plans, plans. I... Uh, now, did I do this last time? No. Printed off the Alice thing, so I really do need to get started on it. But I, I now have the charts printed, and I finally picked my fabric. I went through all the ones I've picked up before, and Sharon, I have a feeling I'm going to steal your red bee idea. Oh, I love the fabric you've chosen, and it's sorry, I'm it's so crinkly. So this is a chromatic alchemy in Midas. It's a 32 count Belfast. That's nothing. Is it like how it is? I don't know. I think it's quite close to what the call for is. It's yeah. If I do that and just hold it like that. It's a fairly even. It's not too bad actually. It's a fairly evenly mottled one. And I'm sure I've worked it out that this is big enough. I'm going to not put, it, put it back in the bag now. Um, I pulled the DMC. I think I need to order three, which I will do at some point. Um, yeah. So I've got most of the DMC for it now. And at some point in, I hate starting things. I am just not a starter. I love the project in my wonder, lovely bag from Shannon. Stitchy Shannon 85. Um, I'm just not one of these people that like starting projects. I, in fact, I actively dislike it. That's probably why I'm happily whipping down at the moment. So, next up, this is, I've done no progress, but this leads nicely into haul. So this is one of my next plans. Lottie really wants me to finish this, and I've literally stitched that tiny bit of 
car wheel in the middle. So, or maybe not the middle, I don't know. Uh, I don't even know which way up it is. There we go, that has a narrow one to it. This is Letters from Mermaid. This is the letter C. Uh, this was gifted to me by a blog friend, Tiff. Tiff Stitches on the blog, on the blog, blogosphere. There we are with that. That's as much as I've done. So I did originally when I I re-kitted it because. I converted, I, my original plan was I was only going to use these fancy and I was going to DMC it. But I kind of really like fancy floss now. So I've got those um, and there's some more, there's a few DMC that really, for the amount of stitches that they use in these, in the sections, just was, it's mainly actually in the mermaid and the ball, mainly, yeah, mainly in the mermaid. Oh, you're just not going to get the variegation because like a hair is four colours for probably less than 50 stitches so I've just basically pulled the DMC for the mermaid and um, in my haul from Leaks and Needlecraft I'm still waiting for hickory sticks uh, let's just pull my weeks out of the way so I've picked those I was being lazy and decided to pick one of the, the purples for it but it looks like I'm gonna have to hydrangea was showing up a lot darker so uh, let's go with that it was showing up a lot darker so I think I'm gonna have to order the darker one as well which is fine with me I, so yeah I need to two lemon and lime so that's an extra lemon and lime persimmon which is now making me think I already had that oh that's shrimp cocktail cherry tomato okay those are really similar okay very similar indeed. In fact, you could, if you didn't know, you would think they were the same. So, uh, it also needed a really pale purple crinic, and the conversion one was really quite dark. So, I decided to basically use my own judgment. So, the crinic is. I'm sorry, let me just have a look. You know what the chronic is? Different eye. Okay. It's literally in the border. And there's bits of it in this. Okay, so there are a little bits of the chronic in the letter C and there's some in the border. And it's supposed to be a kind of purple colour, so I went with that one. Uh, I don't know if it'll work. Huh. It's, it's with the brown, so it's not even mostly. Yes, because there's quite a bit of it oh, in there and, the, and in there. And then there's like patches of it in the border. So. And then it's backstitched. Oh, it's backstitched with brown. So where that is in there, it's backstitched as well with hick sticks. Okay. There we go. Lottie, I will try and get it done. Um, everything's falling off my lap. Because I chose to sit in front of the camera and have the table here. Probably wasn't my best decision. So I'm putting all that in here now. It's got three sets of beads in it. I was de I tempted to try and get it from Stash, but decided it just wasn't worth the effort. So those are the three lots of beads, and they're pretty much all in the mermaid. But the reds are really pretty red, and I'll use that. And champagne, peach ones. Oh, who knows? They'll get used eventually. So there we go. Let's pop this away. So when I have finished May, I am declaring this for the scavenger hunt because that seems to be how I am making progress on things. If it's in the scavenger hunt, tree farm wasn't, but that seemed to have enough things that was quite quite widely encompassing. So, anywho. These are my week's club. Oh, we'll go through them. So we've got foliage and flamingo, fawn and flatfish, fawn's the paler one, 
Fiesta and Foxglove. Fiesta the orange. And then we've got Fire and Father's Day. There we go. So, one, two, three, four, I've no idea. Okay, so she's out of stock of Fathom, but I've no idea why she told me that because it's Hick Sticks I wanted. So, anyway, anywho. Right, technical difficulties aside, now I'm back. Um, yeah, just have to clear out my phone completely again. So, I thought I sorted it out, but apparently not. Hey ho, let's roll on with the rest of the haul. Um, now I'm completely confused where I'm at. I was in a rhythm. Okay, oh, let's pick this pile up. They're probably gonna be horrible to cut with and really uncomfortable, but they were cute and I couldn't resist them, so. And they weren't like kind of my favorite colors. You know what it's like, I'm gonna buy the pink ones. Uh, new fabric from Sparklist. I'm not gonna take them out of packaging because actually Sparklist fabrics are fairly consistent with their dyeing, so you know, it is what it is. It's not. I found when I had Jodry, they were either completely solid or really splotchy. Um, Chromatic Alchemy were at times too, but Jodry is definitely, you know, fairly consistent. So that's a lot more pink than it is purple, I would say. And I've what's a green grey? Mm. So yeah. Uh, both 35 count linen uh, last one of the blackbird design stockings i was needing in march uh needle felt and cactuses because i've done needle felt and felt a whole box of stuff got all the proper pens and stuff anyway but uh yeah i do like the little, some of the little algae craft kits and then we have so I will do cross stitch crazy flip through. This is issue number two hundred and sixty six. This is the kit that came with it. Um, Emma Congdon, as you can see from the big circle, this is Emma Congdon exclusive. Comes with all the hoop and the pom poms. I actually really quite like that. So, oh, there we go. I am still seriously considering going up my. Seriously, giving up my oh, words, giving up my subscription because I just don't stitch things that crazy anymore. I'm just doing my Congdon close up. Patty oh. Teddy on the that's on the cover. Letters pages. Um, a little buzzy bee by. Oh, who does it? Who, sti who designs them? No idea. I thought it was Lucy Peter, but I could be wrong. Um, let's do that. Bruno Mars, the Slurb Stitch. And then we've got uh, Kawaii Spring Gift Ideas. This one's quite cute. Letters and things. Easter cards. Emma Congdon again. Uh, we've got Crazy the Hummingbirds. Uh, cards for different um, religions and uh, letters. Little Easter egg holders made on perforated made, they're made with perforated paper. Doreen Jones letters page. We've got an, a books alphabet. And of course the numbers. Uh, 
crazy for oh sorry quick stitch at our athletes on game day so football dumbbell running even though the athlete the dumbbells above her head looks like a tennis player uh, very apt for this weekend uh, storm dennis is visiting england i'd like it to leave my fence panels alone thank you very much I didn't say who that was by. I don't know. Uh, Maria, Maria Diaz. Eco friendly stitching thing. So basically, look in charity shops, reuse, save your orts. Um, all that kind of thing. Use quality products. You know, don't just buy cheap disposable, buy, invest, and all that kind of thing. Um, Sharon McKinnon, little something or other, pencil case, liner. Actually, the bee's really nice in that. I do quite like proper bee bees. And we've got Challenge Lucy Pages, uh, Horses, uh, Somerset Dragon, Elvis, oh, Fat Elvis. Um, what's that? Orca. Clarinet playing Owl and Schnauzer. It is, I do quite like these though. These are nice, these birds. But given my trauma with blue fabric and needles dance recently. Actually, I think if I did, I would just go for Ada. I'll try not to hit. They are really quite nice though. American Birds by... Lucy Heaton. Uh, next month coming. Uh, let's have a look what else. Is that it? Oh, baby yeah, and that's your lot. That's Cross Stitch Crazy issue 266. It's the April issue. Uh, what else? Oh, yes. Um, random stitching accessory we'll call this I picked up one of these little tables that fits over the arm of your chair and it kind of because it's on spring loaded it kind of holds and I miss it a little bit I have my little phone stand which doubles as a chart stand sometimes um, my alt dish and my scissors and my other new favourite thing in the world which are these Milan capsule pencils Oh, there you go, and I have a green one too. And I have a rubber at the end. And I love these. I love using mechanical pencils. So, my new favourite thing. And this tray, because it's lovely. If I owe you post, I've got a pile here. It'll go eventually. Um, and I had this in the post today from my beautiful friend Steph. How adorable is this? How adorable. Absolutely. Um, I am doing Stitch from Stash this year, so I'm going to try and do a Stitch from Stash update every um, time. So January was a good month. Um, I had Christmas money. Uh, basically I split my Christmas money between buying clothes and um, stitching so I spent 28 Christmas money was 28 pounds seven pence spent on stitching I had three finishes in January my Christmas gnome stitching time and needles dance which gave me a credit of 29 pounds my Christmas my budget is 20 pounds so that's because I'm 49 pounds up at the moment um, as my expenditure didn't count because I used Christmas money. Uh, so my my planet is very basic. This is January and February. I'm I've condensed it down now to um, not even to a double page spread anymore. Uh, that is silly so I can move it in each time. So stitch tally. I'm I'm trying to do a stitch tally. So in January I you know, give or take a few here and there. 
Um, I stitched 8,618 stitches, which equates to about 270. It's not, but it's around 275 stitches a day. I think it was like 278, which I thought was really good because I do have I had to go through, through nearly three or four weeks with only stitching, not stitching every day. So Monday and Tuesday I wasn't stitching. Got my DMC order ready for the next time, which includes so yeah, my DMC order. So that's the two missing from. Alice and then the DMC to kit up the Chessy and Me chart. Boop. Let my example shine. So, my well, the 15th. So, I wanted to finish, finish the main tier for the, a what do you call it? Scavenger hunt, finish Mandala, finish the seagulls, and finish Jack Frost part one and start Alice. So, I'm doing well. And I've spent £10.50 so far this month. I even worked out what my potential credits could be if I did what I want to do. So Jack Frost, Mandala, Seagulls in April. Doing well. So it's, good. it's looking good. It's a good month so far. I'm... Not to blow my own trum trumpet. Oh, my journal. I just literally use um, a square paper journal from Paper Chase. And I've been using that for about four, three years. Um, but I'm pretty good at Stitch from Stash. Uh, my stitch budget's fairly low and it works nicely with, with um, Stitch from Stash, my Weeks Club, my Fabric Club and my magazine subs don't count because they've been going for years. Uh, so yeah, I only let myself have one Fabric Club running at, at any time and only one Thread Club running at any time. So I, and I've had three, three fabric and thread clubs, no, three fabric and two thread clubs. Um, so I'm pretty good at doing that, so I'm not a particularly quick stitcher. Anywho, so what I'm seriously thinking though, now I've done the cards and stuff, I'm starting to sell some bobs, which might increase my stitching budget somewhat, so you know, we'll see. If I do, I'm not going to do it, I'll, I'll probably just have them on my Instagram page, maybe I'll just show them. Um, if I make any, I'll show them here and then I'll put them on my Insta page or something like that. I'm guessing that's how I'll do it. Uh, oh, giveaways. I was about to say that's it. I'm done now. I'll have a quick drink. Because my kids will be wanting me to start talking again. So, anywho. Right, the winners from last time. I've turned the page over and I can't tell you now. Ugh. Okay, so. Stitchy Sam. The Mice Yours and yeah. the PU on the calendar. I'm, I'm going to take it out of the plastic casing. I'm sorry, but it's going to um, just make it easier to package and a bit lighter because it's going. I want to, so you're not. Uh, yeah. We'll see. We'll see what the difference it makes. It might not make any difference at all. Um, but chances are if I post that it's going to get broken anyway so we'll see Bear Peak um, I'll have to look and see if I've got your address still and Sam probably got your address somewhere if not I'll send you a Facebook message uh, new ones oh. we've got Springtime Garden Bear so I'd like to stitch the bear and then we've got a couple of charts these have come from magazines So it's those two, it's like a CC kind of ones or not. So there we go, there's those two. Um, these are for, for, from an old cross stitch card shop. And there's also a 21st birthday card. Not the 18th, just the 21st one. So there's, oh, there we go. So I'll sort the charts for all of those. Yeah, elephant, flamingo, and a giraffe. So, I'd like to stitch the animals. Yeah. For all friends, so. I'd like to stitch the animals, I'd like to stitch the bear, you know the rules, 18, be a subscriber, don't say giveaway. Everything, subscriber, giveaway, don't say giveaway. Is that the rules? That's the rules. 
Them's our rules. So, right. I think I'm done. I am going to. I'm going to have to go pop to the supermarket. Whilst before Storm Dennis takes down my fence panels. Um, yeah, have a great Stitchy Fortnite friends, and I'll be back uh, in two weeks' time. So, happy stitching. Bye bye. <laughs>